Good morning, everyone. So glad you are with us on this Monday morning. I'm Eric Connors and I'm Nadia Romport. Thank you for joining us. And now this morning, you see campuses all across the state, including UC San Diego. They're getting ready for what could be the nation's largest academic workers strike. Yeah, this is actually expected to shut down classes, labs, even research. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in La Jolla now with where everything stands here. This is going to have a major impact here, Chris. Yeah, definitely could. In fact, we're already hearing that some instructors are canceling classes in support of these grad students, researchers and lab workers as well, too. Now, all in all across the state of California, if this strike does go does go as planned, that means that 48,000 union workers could be walking out on the job. Without the university changing course, we can't in our demands and so we're doing what we feel like needs to be done and now it's really time to show the UC like what our labor does for them and for this university um, to hopefully um, you know force them to meet our demands. Now the strike is set to start at 8 a.m. and campuses including UCSD are expected to remain open though of course we're going to keep a close eye on that with so many workers expected to walk out on the job. Now of course their number one and top demand is higher pay and they say that it's actually because of California's high housing costs that that's why that is number one. In fact a member that we spoke with of the union says that they make around $23,000 a year as a TA before taxes and their rent is $50. $1,500. So they want to see that job, uh, excuse me, that pay for that job go up to $54,000 a year. Other demands include child care subsidies, lower tuition costs for international scholars, and a host of other benefits. Now, we did reach out to the UC system about the strikes, and they told us in a statement that negotiations are progressing and that the university is committed, the university's the system is committed to reaching full agreements as soon as possible. Again, with these threats of strikes as well as these labor negotiations things can happen quickly or they could prolong they could take a long time but of course for full coverage on this including what impacts what changes might happen here at UCSD you can go to our website cbs8.com to stay updated